ओके गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स अगेन वेलकम बैक सो एज वी वे डूइंग इन द लास्ट क्लास अवर सेशन नंबर फोर दैट इज पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच सो टुडे विल स्टार्ट विद आवर न्यू सेशन दैट इज बेसिक पंक्चुएशन रूल्स सेशन फाइव ओके सो बिफोर गोइंग टू आवर न्यू सेशन दैट इज बेसिक पंक्चुएशन रूल्स ओके सेशन फाइव लेट्स हैव अ स्मॉल रिकेप ऑफ वॉट वी हैव डन इन द लास्ट क्लास सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डन about part of speech so in as in english language we know that communication takes place only with the help of sentences yes and the words okay basically form the sentence and there are eight different type of words which form a sentence and these eight type of words are commonly referred to as part of speech so these eight part of words are okay which is regarded as part of speech our firstly is noun okay that is which refers which represents people places or things then verbs okay uh, that this which again refers to the state or action word in a sentence then adjectives which gives more information about nouns then adverbs which gives more information about verbs pronouns which replaces nouns then conjunctions which are used for joining of sentences one sentence with another then preposition which give more information about place and time then interjections okay which describes a sound and lastly the article which is used to modify the noun so these eight words okay consisting of the article as the ninth part of speech okay so these are the ninth part of speech okay so this was what we have done in the last class so next proceed to our new session okay so the learning objectives for today will be you will have knowledge on the punctuation rules about capital capitalization and punctuation rules about punctuation so let's first know about the different rules about capitalization so rules about capitalization while writing sentences we should know about our grammar and punctuation rules in order to form correct sentences okay so in order in order to write grammatically correct sentences so the first rule of capitalization is that we have to capitalize the first word of a sentence or you can say a proper noun like the names of people place things so all these words we have to put capital letter in front the first letter has to be a capital letter for example as you can see in the screen it is an honor to represent my country india now it i t it okay then i is the capital letter and then india is the name of a country then Tanya is holidaying at Goa. So Tanya is the name of a person, and holiday is the name of a place. Uh, sorry, Goa is the name of a place. Okay. So this is how you have to capitalize the first word of a sentence or any proper noun. As Tanya and Goa are proper nouns. Next, you can see rule two. That is, capitalize the personal pronoun I. for example i live in guwahati so guwahati is the name of a place and i is a personal pronoun then rule 3 capitalize the name of people their initials abbreviations and title so for example you can see mr khan m has to be capital like doctor yes d doctor d is to be capital then mr is the initial of a person's name which has to be in capital sharma s title then okay nancy sehgal nancy is the name and s is the sehgal s is to be capital then president shri pranab mukherjee so you can see all the words the first letter is in capital letter then rule 4 capitalize the name of languages religions race name of month days of the week school subjects titles etc for example english and physics are my favorite subjects so here english capital e and physics capital p all right so these were the rules for cap, uh, about capitalization now we will know about the rules about 
punctuation how to use how to punctuate punctuation marks are necessary for a written language as they convey important elements like pauses and stops so punctuation marks are important for writing a language and as they convey an important element like where to stop or have give a pause so five com common punctuation marks are number one is comma number two is apostrophe three is question mark fourth is exclamation mark and the fifth one is full stop so we will discuss here the basic and elementary punctuation rules so first one is comma now comma represents the shortest pause in a sentence okay for example they sell stationary items yes comma again gift items again comma and toys so see the next example thank you pause comma governor again pause comma for your support so you have to give comma wherever wherever in a sentence you want to have a short pause that means wherever you have to be uh, wherever you want to stop at a certain point the next one is question mark it represents a question or interrogation so for example have you completed your homework okay so it it always represents what whether you are asking a question or you are interrogating something didn't you find the dress beautiful yes you are asking interrogating so there you have to put a question mark then exclamation mark the exclamation mark represents an emotion or a wish for example what a terrible storm this is yes you are, you are giving an emotion right what what was a terrible storm then alas our gardener is no more so you are expressing an emotion yes hooray we have won the match so hooray there you are giving an exclamation mark so you will give an exclamation mark wherever you want to represent an emotion or a wish then next number 4 apostrophe the apostrophe is used to show the mission of a letter or letters to denote the possessive case of nouns or to form the plural of letters and figures for example don't yes don't do not it's you know o is missing there don't ever e v is missing there i have h a v e h a v h a is missing there okay then tia's hat yes the dog's food dot your eyes and cross your t's yes there you are using an apostrophe okay in the first two sentences there was omission and in the second two sentences you have the positive case of noun then add two fives and four four threes so there you are putting an apostrophe then number 5 is full stop that means it marks the end of a particular sentence for example this is all we shall talk about other topics now okay so we are going to picnic tomorrow the end of the sentence simple nothing more than that so there you are going to put a full stop all right so this was all about your punctuation and capitalization rules so let us have a small summary of what we have done here so first one is capitalization rules so we have to capitalize the first word of a sentence and proper noun that is the name of people places and things then you have to capitalize the personal pronoun i i will be never be a small letter then capitalize the name of people yes their initials abbreviations and titles then lastly capitalize the name of languages yes hindi as means like that english we never put a small letter then religions name of religion races names of month days of week school subject titles they are always in capital letter all right so next we have the rules for punctuation so for the first one was use of comma which represents the shortest shortest pause in a sentence then second one was question mark which represents a question or interrogating something then third one was exclamation mark where you express an emotion or a wish yes then fourth one is apostrophe that is you show an omission of a letter or letters or to denote the positive case of nouns or to form the plural of letters and figures like fives 
trees okay plural then full stop we know that it marks the end of a particular sentence all right so this was your session number 5 so now we'll start with our sixth session that is pronunciation rules so here we will know how to improve our pronunciation rules so the learning objectives for this session will be we will know have knowledge on vowels consonants and diphthongs and different pronunciation rules so you can see here the sound in english language comes from its vowels consonants and diphthongs the letter sounds of a e i o u yes are known as vowels the vowels are also sometimes y and w and diphthongs are combination of sounds of vowels example a i a y then a u okay a w a u a again w o o and many others so diphthong sounds are also considered as vowels then other letters are referred to as consonants they are like b c d f g okay all these are regarded as consonants then we have the pronunciation rules okay that is the first rule is every syllable has in every word must have a vowel in it example like english is a vocal language okay every word must have a vowel then rule 2 c followed by e or i or y usually has the soft sound of s example sis central city okay then rule 3 that is g uh, followed by e i or y usually has the soft sound of i example jam jim just okay then rule 4 when two consonants are joined together to form a new sound they are are called as what consonant digraph and they count as one sound and one letter and are never separated example c h s h t h okay p h and w h sounds okay they are regarded as what consonant digraphs then rule 5 when a syllable ends in a consonant and has only one vowel that is the vowel is short example fat bed fish spot spat clock all these are what have they have only one vowel in them and they are very short then rule 6 when a syllable ends in a silent e the silent e is a signal that the vowel in front of it is long for example make jin kite rope use okay all these are what it means that they have a e behind them and the in front of the e the vowel is long then rule 7 when a syllable has two vowels together the first vowel is usually long and the second is silent like pain eat boat okay rescue yes say grow all these as have what they have two vowels together the first vowel is usually long and the second one is silent then next we have rule 8 when a vowel is followed by an r in the same syllable the that vowel r is controlled and it is neither long nor short r controlled r i r then r often sound as same like r okay so term sir fix yes then for far for sugar or order all these what their r is controlled then rule 9 y is pronounced either as a or i that is in one it is in a one syllable word that is y is pronounced as a my by fly shy cry okay fry sky you, know, you can see the pronunciation then in two word in a two syllable word y is pronounced as i like party puppy you no know? e i candy bunny funny pony turkey yes happy cherry tiny penny city you can see the pronunciation okay then rule 10 c pronunciation rules that is c is pronounced either as s or kite city country see the circle yes so s like s it sounds like s 
when C is followed by E or Y, it is pronounced as like cent, cell, cellar, center, ice, cycle, no, like S, yes, cycle, cyclone, cy um, cypress, yes. Then you can see when C is followed by G O U N A, it is pronounced as K, the country, no, K, country. Then coal, yes, K O L D, like K, no, coal. Then you can see Jim, George, yes, sorry, cut, curb, can, cat, cap, couple, computer, no, like K. Then rule 11. G pronunciation rules where you can see where G is followed by E, I, O or Y. It is pronounced as, you know, gem, giant, gene, charge. Again, you have again one more rule here where G is followed by U or A. It is pronounced as A. Gum, no? Gun, gap, gas, garden. Okay. Then rule 12. Pronunciation of vowel letters like long A and a short A. Okay, you can see in long A, cap, short A, cape. Yes, at, cat, bat, hat, no short. Then if E is at the end of the word, then A is pronounced as a long vowel like gate, you know. is E is at the end. Take, rake, base, race, face, wave, cage. Then if E, e is the E is at the end of the word. Then I is pronounced as long vowel. You can see kite, I, I are making it long. Bike, wine, yes. Then write, dine. So I is bigger, okay, long than E. Then if E is at the end of the word, O is pronounced as long vowel. Rose, no, hope, pole. Now E is at the last of the word. But then that O is pronounced as long vowel. No, you can see rose. No, how you are saying rose? Yes, then O is becoming long. Then if E is at the end of the word, U is pronounced as long vowel. Now, if E is at the end and you now you will be pronounced as a long vowel. You can see tune, cube, cute. Yes, you are stretching the U. Yes, tune, cube, cute. Okay, the U is long vowel here. Then next, we have what some more here. Long I and short I like it, did, keep, did, be. Okay, so these are long and short I. It, hit, sit, pit, kit. Then long O and short O. Og, dog, log, fog. Yes, then op, sop, pop, mob, job. You can see. Then long U and short U. At, cut, not, kahat, hut, rut, up, cup. Yes, these are long U and short U. Okay. Hug, bun, fun, sun, run. Yes, short. So these are the different pronunciation rules. Let's have a small summary of what we have learned in this session. That the every syllable in every word must have a vowel in it. And when two consonants are joined together and they form a new sound, they are called as consonant digraph. For example, CH, yes, that channel, then shine, then the, phone, yes, these are not separated. These letters are together and they are called as consonant digraph. Then next rule was when a syllable ends with a silent E, the silent E is a signal that the vowel in of it if it is long example like make you know yes the silent e make kite yes then next one is why is pronounced either as i or i example ma my by fly yes it becomes y is sounding like i then we have c is pronounced either as s or k like for example city country you know yes like site, S I T E site, it becomes no site, S C I T E site. Yes, then pronunciation of vowel letters long A, like is cap and short A is cape. Yes, cap, cape. Okay, so this is what we have learned here in this session. Now, let's have a look at our session number 
7 that is sentence formation so here in this session we'll have the learning objective as we'll know to how to use the verb to be okay so how to build the sentence here so you can see here in the example given here that he is a doctor i am a student my mom is 39 years old he is a winner they are police officer she is a doctor our dog is sad today my dad is angry my brother is married my uncle is a widower i am 16 years you are happy yes all this you can see what is used here is am and are okay so in this above example you can see there only three words are used that is is am and are so look at look carefully at the picture above every sentence uses to be verbs and these three words are called as to be verbs the to be verbs is what is am and are and they are very important to form a basic sentence okay now here the verbs are used yes with i then he or she okay it is a singular noun you as a singular noun and plural will be we okay they then addressing style how will you address okay the first person the one who are who is talking is called a singular and plural will be we you know that second person the one who listens you and plural also will be you the third person any other person or it can be a thing also okay other than the first or the second person is referred to as he she it name or any relation and plural form will be they they are police officers they are listening to us or they are going for the picnic they third person okay not i and you then you can see here we have certain examples over here of affirmative sentence okay now i am subject you can see i am i am good he she eat this yes here we will use is yes we will not use am he am no we will use is he is good she is good it is good you are good right then next comes you are you we they third person right so you are good they are we are good they are good okay you can see the difference then next one we have example of negative sentences where word not is added after to be verb that means i am not well okay i am not good you can see here he or she is not good it is not good you are not good yes we are not good they are not good so here in uh, behind the word am or is or are you can see not is used so this is these all are negative sentences then interrogative means asking any question yes you can see am i good is he good is she good it is good is this good cat good okay are you good are we good are they good yes you can see in this to be verb what comes is before the subject you can see come it comes before the subject that means i am i good no am is used before is is he good yes the to be verb is used before the subject are yes are you good are they good so here you can see in the interrogative sentences am is and are used before the in uh, before the subject okay so this was all about your sentence formation so let's have a summary here so the to be verb is what are is am and are and which are very important to form a basic sentence so here the verb is am okay and used with i i am okay then the verb is he is she is it is okay all singular then are you okay both for singular and plural okay then we they also will come under are okay we are they are all right then addressing style the first person will be always i and we the second person will be you you both for singular and plural then third person will be he she it name relation for singular and they for plural okay so this was all about your sentence formation okay please go through the videos once again 
okay and then after the video i will be giving you some uh, assignments okay on session number 5 and session 7 okay please complete it and show me all right have a nice day thank you